Hello guys and welcome to an NGV video review for Horizon Zero Dawn's The Frozen Wilds DLC. I'm Ben and Aloy's back. This time around she's venturing north into the Frozen Wilds um, and it's a hefty piece of DLC. So the main story clocks in at just over 10 hours or so uh, and there's an absolute ton of side content to explore as well. The map of the Frozen Wilds blends seamlessly into Horizon's already expansive open world. And there's new machines, there's new weapons, there's new tribes and new areas to explore. And there's also some really neat touches as well throughout the game. Um, playing through the Frozen Wilds has made me realise just how much I thoroughly enjoyed the main game and it's actually got me itching to go back to achieve that elusive platinum trophy. The game continues to look astonishing on the PS4 Pro. I'm only playing in 1080p but the two graphical options that are there, they just look absolutely fantastic. Um, there's some gorgeous new graphical effects such as the snow uh, that they come to the fore in the icy pastures and there's beautiful landscapes, colourful sulphur pools and a whole lot more combined to show off what I genuinely believe is the most technically impressive game that I've ever seen. Photo mode of course is back um, and it's a big part of Horizon. If I'm honest I haven't really been back to the game since finishing up my review back in February so it was a nice surprise to be greeted with a bunch of updates and new poses for Aloy to sit and stand uh, while I was admiring the art direction that Gorilla have put into the game. Of course this being set in the snow it would seem a little bit odd if they didn't have a snow angel in there, and of course here it is. While I'm on the subject of animations, there are actually some brilliant subtle touches that Gorilla have put in to incorporate the snow, such as Aloy's running animation being tweaked ever so slightly when she's running through these knee-deep drifts. Fundamentally though, this is the same game that many will be undoubtedly talking about in their Game of the Year discussions. Combat's still frenetic and well balanced, although I did find myself needing to retrain my brain into using more of the elemental attacks to gain the upper hand against some of the more testing machines in the game. Speaking of which, there are a few new ones to take on, including the Fearsome Scorcher and the outright terrifying Frost Claw, which I'm sure you'll become more than familiar with throughout your time in the DLC. New characters are introduced, and to be honest, almost to a T, they're excellent. Gorilla have demonstrated here that the storytelling in the main game wasn't a fluke. And with a diverse range of new faces on display, the emotions elicited from you will range from a sly chuckle to heartfelt empathy all the way to outright sadness. Shan't go into the story too much here for fear of spoilers, but the way in which the tribes are quick to jump to spiritual answers for technical questions is explored in more depth here, and it's an area of the main game that I found absolutely fascinating, so I'm glad they've taken this route. As a character, Aloy had a slight tendency to feel a little bit one-dimensional in the early goings of the base game, but combined with the finishing of that, and the evolution of a character in the DLC, this is all but whittled away and forges her of one of the standout characters in PlayStation gaming. Altogether, The Frozen Wilds is an excellent reason to dip back into Horizon Zero Dawn. Astonishingly pretty environments, outstanding attention to detail in everything, and enough content in there to easily push your playtime up by another 15 hours. If you're a PS Plus subscriber, you can pick The Frozen Wilds up for just under £15 for a limited time, and in my opinion, it's well worth doing so. That's all for now guys, be sure to like, share, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers, bye bye.